This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations. Ministers of the current administration have begun giving a review of their performance since taking office. This is part of activities to mark President Bola Tinubu's first year in office. Deli Alake, the Minister of Solid Minerals, Jamila Bio, the Minister of Youth, Heineken Lokbobiri, Minister of State for Petroleum, and a few others gave account of their stewardship at the Radio House in Abuja yesterday. Questions remain on whether this will be used to determine which ministers stay and which will be sacked. Joining us this morning to discuss this is public affairs commentator Bolanle Olubani. Good morning and welcome to the conversation, Mr. Olubani. Good morning. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on. How would you rate um, the, the, the stewardship or account of stewardship that we saw yesterday and heard? Well, within the time frame of uh, almost one year, it appears that uh, the ministers, you know, with the uh, warning from the onset of the administration that there will be uh, accountability and there will be uh, a review of their performance, you know, uh, at every milestone of the administration, you know, appear to be giving the impression that they have not just occupied office, but they have been effective in office. So it now depends on the parameters set from the beginning, whether they have been given specific objectives and tasks and uh, agenda to fulfill within a time frame, and whether they've been able to fulfill those set parameters or whether they've even exceeded it. Those who have fallen short of what was set for them as a target, performance target, would obviously have uh, issues, uh, you know, to to resolve with uh, their appointor. And uh, they've, been, they've been told from the beginning that they will be given uh, a first warning before they are relieved of the appointments in the uh, federal cabinet. So, Mr. Lugrani, to understand this, um, at the moment, it's still very much up in the air regarding how well the ministers have performed. Um, I, I want to get a sense of um, if you have been monitoring the tracker that was made available for citizens uh, and what sort of reactions you are seeing from them in terms of their opinion of how well or how badly ministers of this administration have performed. Well, the performance perception is a factor in that um, in that assessment because you see a minister might actually be able to achieve uh, objectives set for him uh, the, uh, the, the, the 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 uh, for the agenda of the administration but in actual fact that performance may not have direct bearing or influence on the lives of the average nigerian both in the short term and in the long term and so the average man on the street who is uh, bedeviled with the problem of survival, cost of transportation, uh, school fees, rent, and all that, may not uh, consider those performance evaluations being churned out by the various ministers and those who appointed them as bearing, you know, direct uh, reference to, to their lives. So it's one thing for a minister to perform, the perception by the public is another thing entirely. The minister may actually be performing, but his own performance may not have direct, direct influence on the lives of the average Nigerian. It may have an indirect influence over the long term, but on the short term, uh, it may not have. You know, a number of Nigerians were disappointed in generally what we saw yesterday right in, there have been some criticisms that say that there's nothing tangible that people could come away with from all the ministers who presented one of the ministers who was particularly criticized was the minister of youth jamila dr jamila bio people say that you know she kept saying i will i will i will as opposed to i've done i've done i've done and from what i've done this is what i expect do you think that it's a fair criticism from the side of the perception of the general public it could be a fair criticism if in actual fact there's no direct bearing in, in between i will have done even if the minister has done if it does not impact on the life of the average nigerian you know 
it will be a fair criticism also. But here, here, is the, here is the other side of the story. The set targets for the minister was the minister able to access the budgeted funds, the main materials and logistics to be put in place, and the uh, for the uh, for the attainment of the objective was it made available to the minister? Are things the way they ought to be in such a manner that the minister will be able to say that I have performed? And what about those objectives that have been set, whose results cannot be easily perceived in the short term? Maybe it will require another six months for that minister, or another one year for that minister, you know, to showcase whatever it is he may have, he or she may have achieved so there are a lot of factors in it and one must be fair to the appointees too it's it's not they have no bbs uh, um, uh, now, uh, mr Lubani, yeah. i mean before we leave the conversation the minister of information and national orientation mohammed idris he had published a five-point agenda and it's other also under his stewardship of sorts that we're seeing this review being organized so if you look at his five point agenda, he's got the very first one is restore public trust in public communications. And it, it does seem like a tall task. I wonder if he is up to it. And from what you've seen, how you would rate his performance? It appears that right now, apart from being technocrats in their particular areas or fields, it requires that every minister become some kind of communication expert or at least you know take on the services of people who are vast in public communication so that the agenda of every minister is the agenda should be the agenda of the president he may have his own sub agenda uh an added responsibility objective that he wants to achieve but the overall agenda is the agenda of the president the manifesto of the party and his the, any minister who is appointed must be able to articulate properly and if he cannot if he doesn't have the advocacy or the elocution to do so they may need to consider hiring communication experts for that purpose so that uh, a five-point agenda uh, whether it's been achieved or not depends on the way the minister across and then how the, the public perceives whatever he's saying mr olubani thank you very much for your time on this conversation this morning our guest, Bolanle Olugbani, is a public affairs commentator and he joined us to speak on the ministerial scorecard of 2024. The ministers under this administration, the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, have been given a review of their performances since they took office. Now, this is, of course, part of activities marking President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's first year in office. This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations.